somebody to be over certain things, but they won't step up to the plate. I know God's speaking to them because they have the ability, but they don't want to do it because I don't have to get involved with them. It's complicated and messy. <laughs> Y'all stay here with me. Yeah. I'm getting ready to go somewhere. Because yeah. I'm talking about great opportunities. When God told me, tell me to do something, it's a great it's an opportunity when he called you to do something right. Even in the face of people talking about you. You're doing a lot around now. I don't understand what's going on. What's your title? <laughs> y'all stand here with me because the power is going to switch on y'all just a minute. Because the Bible said, go back and read that 13 all the way through. But he answered one of them and said, mm -hmm. Friend, I do thee no wrong. Uh -huh. Does not thou agree with me for a period? You agree with me for this minute. I've given you what we agreed on. 14. Take that thine ears and go thy now, way. Get your money and go. We through. You work. I paid you. See you, friend. That's the end of that. I don't have to keep listening to this. I've listened to you. I've explained to you. I have done your wrong. Stop trying to get people's approval. Read what it says. I will give unto this last, even as unto thee. I will give to this one that came one hour before the end of the day, just like I gave to you. Read it. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will? Because it's my money. Amen. You're gonna tell me what to do. You're gonna tell me what to do with my money. <laughs> Pastor, we're gonna raise you this off, but don't you don't you give nobody nothing. Don't you help the church out? Don't you get, don't you buy nothing around this church? Uh, now if you give me that offer, who offer is that? Thank God. Help, 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 help. <laughs> Read what he said. Is that I evil because I am good? Now are you seeing things crooked? Because somebody else is good? I just don't understand. Just seeing out here lately, you just been, you've been doing a lot. What's up with that? <laughs> you're out here turning evil because of somebody good. You're not seeing it. You're not looking at it straight. See, some of you have been given a delusion. I promise you. I'm not saying it here. But there are some people that have been given a strong delusion to believe a lie. Read what he said. So the last shall be first, mm -hmm. and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen. Because I've called many. But those that have been selected are very few. I've called them, they've done for a while. The heat of the day came, they quit. Everybody didn't work through the heat of the day. Everybody didn't work when there was pressure put on them. They're being lied about and talked about. You can only get talked about. He that will live godly in this life, the Bible says, will suffer persecution. You try to live for God, you're going to suffer for it. But whatever a man saw, he's going to reap that. Whatever is right, God's going to pay. Watch what the Bible says in Matthew 22 and 1. Read what it says. And Jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables, mm -hmm. and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son. Now, two chapters later in Matthew, watch what Jesus does with a parable. He says, first of all, the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king. Then name, he's not making up anything. He's just not assigning names to this thing. It's just like a king who made a marriage for his son. Read it. And sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden now, and wed. Now, there are some that have already been invited. They've already been bidden. Get this now, this is, this is crucial. The Bible says, he sent forth the servants to call them that were bidden. In other words, to call them to say, hey, it's time. They've already been invited. Because God has already invited some folk, some of some folk to do some things. He, in this case, he's talking about this marriage feast. He said, I've already invited them. They've already been bidden. But I need the service now to go out and call them to let them know it's time. Read what the word says. And they would not come. They would not come. God had invited them. They've already been bid. I've already sent the sermon. I've already sent the invitation through the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit been speaking to them. All I need is, hey, you, I need you to come help me do this. But they said, no, I'm not going to do that. Told you to your faith they weren't going to do it. Read what it says. Again, he sent forth other servants, mm -hmm. saying, tell them what you're bid. Wait a minute, so he sent some more servants. He said, I need you to tell them that's already been invited. What? 
Behold, I have prepared my dinner. The dinner is already ready. Hmm. Read it. My oxen and my fatlings are told them what the menu was. Y'all stand here with me. Read it. And all things are ready. Mm -hmm. Coming to the marriage. Come on. But they made light of it. They did not take it serious. This is my rest night. I'm not coming out there on Wednesday night. I work hard on Wednesday, but this is my hard day. I'm not going to come out to midday prayer. They made light of it. There's enough of them out there. They don't take but two or three. He'll gather in the midst of two or three of them. Y'all stand here with me. Make light of it. They don't think, I'm, I, don't, I don't need Sunday school. I, mean, I went to Sunday school every, I, when I was a kid. I went to Sunday school all the time. I, I know everything I need to know. Make light of it. Yeah, the Holy Ghost. Read what he said. But they made light of it and went their way. Mm -hmm. One to his farm. Yeah, but all that they were doing was, well, I can't say that. Somebody say, I'm Go ahead. Another to his merchandise. Come on. And the remnant took his servants mm -hmm. and entreated them spitefully. Come on. And slew them. Seven birds. But when the king heard thereof. He was what? Wrong. He was upset and did something about it. Wrong mean I'm upset? Yeah. And I'm going to do something about it. See, so you can be angry and don't do nothing. Right. But when you wrong, <laughs> you angry and do something about it. And the Bible says he sent forth his what? Armies. Come on. And destroyed that's, those murders. That's God talking about his holy angels. And we that have been bent to this marriage feast of the Lamb of his son, many people have denied the whole process. Uh, yeah, you shook the preacher's hand and joined the church years ago, but for whatever reason, because of the heat of the day and pressures and God was conforming you and shaking you and molding you and sending stuff your way and you just didn't want to deal with it because that's messing. I'm, I got more intelligence than this and they, they get on and they, they don't know how to act and I don't like who's preaching that night and I, I can't get a word you can get a word from whoever God's preaching to. So the Bible says he sent forth his armies and did what? Destroy those what? Murder. And then what? And burned up their city. Eight verse. Then said he to his servants, the wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Yeah, now, now all of those, I had invited them, I had called them. Many of them. They called them, bidden. Sent my servants out to tell them, hey, time is ready. The food is ready. The table is set. But they said, I'm not coming. I got a form. The Bible says, some said, uh, I just bought a team of oxen. I need to go try them. That's one. That's the scripture. Another one said, "I just married a wife." Let me know about it. Uh, let me go back. My father just died. Let me go bury my father. They had all kind of reasons for not doing what God was calling them to do. Some of us have said, "Well, I'm not. I'm not qualified." If God called you, you qualified. Stay with me. Read what he said. Go ye therefore into the highway. So what you need to do now, you need to leave and go into the highways. What's the highways? Along the highways, there are other cities and towns. When you get on the interstate, the highway system is to lead you from one town to he said, go up on those highways. If nobody in the community, you've asked everybody, you've asked everybody in the city, you've asked everybody in the surrounding little urban area. Now you need to get on the highway. Well, Pastor, I, I just I don't think that God is calling me to go into jail. I, I don't think God is calling me to go on the TV. He's not calling me to go on the internet and YouTube. I, I just don't, you know, I'm not comfortable with putting my information out there on that internet highway. Y'all stand here with me. There are so many pastors and preachers and ministers. He said, go into all the world. I just don't see how I can go. He said go, didn't he? He didn't tell you how to go. I can sit in my room, my wife said, with my other girlfriend at the computer. And I have friends in Brazil, Indonesia, Kenya, all over the world. And we talk on a regular, he said, go into all the world. And then we stepped out on faith, and the Lord blessed them two 
television station. Y'all stand there with me. Paul made it clear when you are a partaker with a ministry, he said you are then partners. So you that partake with the ministry, it's just like you going. Sure enough, it's the choir and the pastor and the praise team and the praise dancers on the TV doing their thing. But they couldn't be on there if you didn't give. Stay with me. So the Bible said we're partakers. So then the scripture lets us go into the highway and watch this. Read what he says. And as many as ye shall find. Now, these individuals that you're going to bring in now, I didn't be at them. I didn't invite them, nor have they been summoned. He said, many as you can find. God, I'm on one shot. See, we have, he flipped this thing on us. See, the first part of the parable, all of them that I've already invited, I want you to go and tell them this ready. Those that I've already did. He said, but now, I need you to go find as many as you can find. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. God has not already determined that this one is going and this one is not going. See, somebody's going to miss heaven because we didn't go out and do what we're supposed to do. And the Bible said, if I fail as a minister not to do what God has told me to do to warn them about this thing, he said, their blood is up on my hand. Well, see, if God had already predetermined that they are going to be saved or not saved, how can the blood be on my hand that he's already determined that? He hasn't determined. I have to step out on faith. I, the Bible said, don't even look at their faces. So I'm supposed to look, give you a look. That'll make you go back home. Read what the word said. And as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. As many as you find, then you invite them. I've invited many. Some say they're not coming, won't go. He said, but as many as you can find, invite them. Read. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all, as many as they found. What? Both bad and good. Somebody said bad and good. Boy, you're going to have some bad and good. In church. Mm -hmm. Don't think everybody would be good. Hmm. Intelligent. Don't think they're going to be intelligent. Don't think they're going to all have it together. Mm -hmm. They're not. Because we invite them. Mm -hmm. We don't know the end from the beginning. All we know is doing what God said to bring them in. Because mm -hmm. see, God has some servants that's going to preach to them and teach them. That's the only thing we can do. Because he kept sending the servant. The servants represent those that have given them the gospel. How can they hear the gospel unless we bring them? And we sit back and not doing anything to bring them. We on the phone talking about what happened at church. I think I'm going next week myself. <laughs> Y'all in here with me? You, you have coming and have doing and have going, and you're going to bring somebody in here on that? You have an opportunity. It's a great opportunity because he lets you share in this harvest. He has invited and summoned many people. They had all kinds of reasons for not coming. But he said, now you go now. I need you to get on the highway and go. When the Lord told Sister Bethel, he told me and I took Sister Bethel to Ohio when gas was at its highest price. And I was saying, God, can I wait a few weeks? Can I wait a month? Because in a few weeks, gas went down. All right. And I went with gas for $4 plus a gallon. Okay, spent almost $1,000 on gas on a round trip, 2,200 miles at me, Holy Ghost. But I did what God said do. When God called you, invite you, summon you, I could have been disobedient and said, well, I'm not going. I had a choice. God didn't make me do it. You haven't been predestinated by God to do a thing or not. You have a choice. But he knew and he knows who can do it and who can't 